Welcome back. If you're new, please subscribe. Today we are in the car because we are going to talk about the Cobb Access Port version 3 and a little brief tutorial on how to install it and why I purchased it. All right, so inside the box has a case with an actual access port inside. I think you get a couple of little face plates too to go with it. Sorry, hard to do one handed. There it is, access port. Comes with the silver face. Comes with a few more, I think actually one more. Um, maybe blue, comes with a mount. And that's about it as far as that goes. And then over here we have what you're gonna need to get the install done, all the accessories. So, there's a couple little you can see a couple little harnesses there, depending on the car application you have. It's going to walk you through a series of steps. And then it has the cable, the access port cable. We're actually hooking it up. Looking great. You've all seen cables before. And that's about it. And so it's in the box. When I originally bought the car, it had the Cobb Access Port version 2. And that had the original ProTune on it from when the car was first built. Recently, Cobb has suspended any kind of support for the version 2. So, if you try to get it tuned, if you try to get any maps done, uh, it becomes quite a problem. I've talked to quite a few tuners, and they all said it would be I would benefit from getting the version 3. The version 2 just isn't supported anymore. One of the local, tu one of the local tuners said he won't even work with it anymore because sometimes it takes 2 or 3 hours for his system to communicate with the access to access port version 2 so we had to bite the bullet we went to version 3 and that's what will put the old tune on before we uninstall or unmarry as they call it the version 2 so the install process is not very difficult um, the hardest part for me was when I was doing the install I had to use three separate laptops now the version 2 access port, um, I had to run an old Windows um, uh, operating system, so I had to use an old MacBook and two old PC laptops till the access port would actually communicate with the computer. Once I got that done, I unmarried it. It's, very, it's pretty simple. I'm not going to bore you with the details. This is stuff you can just look up on Cobb. It comes with very detailed instructions. And there's tons of videos out there that show people doing this. So, you unmarry it. You save the tune to your computer under Access Port Manager. And then when I installed the new version 3 access port, I just put the tune from the previous tuner on this version 3. So I still have the original tune. Nothing has changed. The new one comes with a lot of different um, tunes and off-the-shelf tunes, which won't work for this car. It has to go; it's going to have to go be pro-tuned. Uh, originally, in some of my videos, I mentioned it was tuned for 93. I could only run 91, so that's a big concern of mine. Um, I don't want to run race fuel and mix it anymore to get 93. So, version three access port installed. I still have the same tune. I'm gonna have a lot more options. There's a lot more live monitoring and different things you can do with it. So I'm gonna plug it in and show you a little bit about it. Plug it in, turn the car on, and presto, we got some stuff. So you just have to go through it. It's really easy, different performance features, troubleshooting, check engine light, this is where your tunes are, uninstall it. You don't wanna do that since it's already been installed. Um, it's about it, pretty basic, pretty lightweight, little small thing. Um, I don't know, some people mount them up, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. There's not many live stuff I think I really need to monitor um, that I that I already have on gauges, but it's about it. It's got the tune in there, zero to sixty. I'm not sure how accurate any of this stuff is, but it's there. Let's check out some of the tunes. And under the tunes, you can see show current map. It's gonna show you what it has. And in here, this one, this 713 SS whatever is the current tune from the last tuner. And that's going to basically be the tune that's attached to the car. You can disconnect the battery, um, you can do anything, and it's always going to have this tune still programmed into it. The old one was really hard to unmarry. I actually had to have Cobb step in and do it because 
it wasn't unmarrying. It was just with this car, everything I did, all the instructions they gave me, it just wasn't working. So they eventually just said, you know what? Don't worry about un un unmarrying the old one. And it actually, this one over overwrote the old version two. So that's going to be it for today. Just wanted to show you guys um, something. It's been a while since I posted anything. The version 3 is installed. We have a boost uh, controller, electronic boost controller we're going to install next. A few other things I'm still waiting on. Looks like we're going to be doing a air oil separator. Not sure which one to go with, but everybody's saying should run one. Uh, that's next. So please, if you're new, like I said, subscribe. Click the like if you enjoyed this video and comment down below if you have any advice for me. Thanks. See you next time.